welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking a break from the vlogs and I'm bringing you another Instant Pot recipe video. I haven't done one of these in like months. So I'm super excited to uh, give you guys this recipe today. My cat is having an episode. He's freaking out over there. So just guys gotta bear with me. He goes to every room in the house and he chews up everything that he can. Now he's chewing up my tripod. Anyways, today I'm showing you, as you saw from the title, how to make baked beans in the Instant Pot. Baked beans. I'm a huge fan of baked beans. They are so delicious. And especially with hot dogs. Vegan hot dogs. Sounds disgusting. I don't know why vegan hot dogs to most people sound scarier than normal hot dogs. Because normal hot dogs are disgusting. <laughs> But for some reason, you say vegan hot dogs to someone and they are just repulsed. I love vegan hot dogs. It is one of my guilty pleasures. Vegan hot dogs and instant vegan noodles. Oh my god. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make baked beans. Did I say that? So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make baked beans to go with your vegan hot dogs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. This recipe is also great with baked potatoes, uh, mac and cheese for a summer barbecue. It's a perfect thing to bring as a side for burgers. Um, it's just the perfect side dish. Bert, don't you dare. As I was saying, this dish is the perfect side dish to bring to any summer barbecue. As we are winding down from summer now, I had to squeeze this recipe in there before summer escaped me. This recipe is also super easy, so let's just jump right on into the video. First, I'm going to show you guys all the ingredients that you will need for today's recipe. Okay, so here's all the ingredients you will need for today's video. Let's start over here. First, you will need one pound of small white beans. Next, you will need two bay leaves, eight ounces of plain tomato sauce with no sort of seasoning or Italian flavorings in it. Next, you will need maple syrup molasses, apple cider vinegar. I'm using uh, Bragg's liquid aminos, but you can substitute this for soy sauce. One large onion diced, four cloves of garlic minced, and a sprinkle of black pepper. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook our small white beans. I just picked these up from my local Ralph's. They are Kroger brand, so I'm sure you could find these in any grocery store. But first, I'm gonna rinse these off. You always wanna make sure you rinse your beans before you cook them. Someone in the comments asked me how I rinse small things like quinoa. I use a mesh strainer. I think this is really like a sifter, but it works great as a strainer. Ta -da. Okay, I have my washed beans. I'm gonna add them into my instant pot. I'm gonna add enough water to cover it by about three fourths of an inch. Uh, I don't really measure this step because I'm just gonna drain out the water anyway, so it doesn't really matter if there's water left over. You just want to make sure the beans are covered by a half inch to an inch. Okay, once your water and beans are in the Instant Pot, you can go ahead and cover. Make sure the valve over here is set to ceiling. By the way, I'm using the Instant Pot Lux 60 6 quart, and I have links to where you can buy an Instant Pot off Amazon um, in the description box down below. And if you buy it off Amazon, you can get prime shipping and it comes within like a day or two. It's super easy. I forgot one thing. <laughs> Whoops. Chef of the year award. I forgot to add in the bay leaf just for some additional flavoring. <sighs> Can't forget the bay leaf. I'm just gonna stir that around with my finger. Sanitation is priority here. We're just gonna pop on the lid, set the valve to ceiling, and we're gonna press manual on the Lux. On a duo, it will say pressure cook. Manual for 25 minutes. And once that's up, we're gonna do a natural release which takes about 18 to 20 minutes. Oh my goodness, by the way, my intro, I forgot to mention why I look so glam. I had a photo shoot this morning and I figured while I had this much makeup on, it'd be a good time to film a video. If you guys were confused why I had fake lashes on, that's why I did a photo shoot this morning. I didn't want you guys to think I was turned into a beauty guru. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's been 30 minutes and our beans are done. First, what we're gonna do is take out the pot and we're gonna drain out 
the excess water. Okay, so I drained out our beans, set them aside in another bowl here, and the reason for that is we're gonna saute our onions and garlic up in this pot. So I'm gonna put the inner pot back in and press cancel on the keep more and move it to saute. And I always put it on the highest setting. I feel like it just is the hottest. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of our ingredients. First, I'm adding in one large onion diced. I'm just gonna let this soften up a bit. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our garlic. Um, this is four cloves of minced garlic, and you don't need to add any oil into the pot. If your veggies start to stick, you can just add in a tablespoon of water at a time. Um, that way you don't need to add in any oil. Okay, so this is the part, as you can see, where I might want to start adding some water because the bottom is getting a little bit brown. So I'm just going to take just a tablespoon of water and that makes it so the onions don't stick and burn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so first is our 8 ounces of tomato sauce and next I'm adding in 1 half cup of maple syrup, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using Bragg's liquid aminos which is like a soy sauce but it's made out of vegetable proteins. It's really, really delicious. Highly recommend it. Next, I'm adding two tablespoons of molasses. That's a mess. Oh, sh What a disaster. Okay, next I'm adding in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Lastly, I'm gonna add in a sprinkle of black pepper. Also, when I made this for myself last time, I used a tablespoon of just plain mustard, um, and I went to get all my ingredients today, and we're out of mustard because Colin used it all. So, yeah. Also, if you want a smoky flavor, you can add in either smoked paprika or liquid smoke. Next, I'm adding in our beans that we set aside. Here we go. The last ingredient is just some water. We're gonna pop the lid on and cook it on high pressure for another 25 minutes. Make sure the valve is set to sealing, press cancel, and cook it for another 25 minutes. Okay guys, so our beans finished up. I did a 18 minute natural release. I'm gonna take off the lid, and they should be cooked perfectly. Well, here is the finished product. They look so good. I'm actually gonna chop up some vegan hot dog and eat it with that. Also, you can eat this with some baked potatoes. I have some that I made in my Instant Pot that I'm gonna also serve with this dish. That is all I have for you guys today. If you guys like this recipe video and you wanna see more like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for go. Can we get this video to 200 thumbs up? Make sure you also subscribe before you go by hitting that red button down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.